Hello and welcome to Be Open here at Homestead, Miami. I love this track and I love this car, but in the little bit of practice I got here, whoops, in the little bit of practice I got here with this OSR setup, I don't know if uh, I'm liking it too much. Uh, maybe it's just me, but I'm kind of worried we kind of have a not fantastic setup again this week. Like last week, Las Vegas was not too great either. But I am just not feeling the way this car is driving right now. Again, it could just be me. And uh, I haven't done a race yet, obviously. But it just it, it feels wrong. <laughs> it does not feel good. Um, I don't even know how to describe it any better. Like it's not very fast, short run. And it didn't seem to be doing well on tires. Even in the short-ish runs I was doing in practice, it looked like it was eating up the right front. So I'm a little concerned here. But, you know, I could be pleasantly surprised. That is a possibility, oh, wow. technically. I almost hit the wall. I almost lost this lap. It's looking like it's doing maybe a little bit better in the current track condition, so maybe maybe there's some hope yet. <laughs> we'll see. But, like, that lap didn't feel good at all. It didn't feel very fast. 33-1. You got guys in the 32-9s. I don't know. We're gonna find out. My assumption here is the high line is best here at Homestead for fast lapping. So looks like the first lap was better. We're dropping back, though. Um, I'll see where everyone else is running. Usually you want to take the lower line, though, here at Homestead for tire saving. So I've been kind of practicing that as well. The car just feels so tight. And that's never good. I don't like that. <laughs> like, Gavin has had a lot of trouble last week with the, the OSR setup for Las Vegas. I mean, I wasn't thrilled either, but he was, like, saying it feels like the, uh, fixed setup, and that it's just way too tight. And that's what this is kind of feeling like to me. Like, it's just extra tight. Hard to even get it where you want it to go. And, I don't know, like, I would prefer a looser setup. Get on the right rear. I think I can handle it. I think. But... It's not feeling great. It feels like I have to stay off the gas so long for it to just not push up in the corner. I mean, we're driving back to 7th now. Just don't feel very fast, to be real with you. But we'll just we'll take it easy, I guess. We'll see how we are on pace compared to everyone else. I mean, we're only two tenths off of the leader, I guess, so that's not too bad. Maybe this... Maybe the track's just a little slower than I expect it to be. I expect to be flying around here a little bit faster, but... I don't know. We will learn together what this ends up doing. It does maybe feel a little bit better under these track conditions, though. So that does make me feel a little bit better, because during practice, it was even worse than what I'm doing right here. And this actually is halfway good, but still, like I said, too, too much understeer for my liking. So we will do a practice pit stop. This is a bit of a sharp turn getting in here, but that looks fine. Probably could go a little faster than that, but that'll work. I even experimented trying to make some changes, but I'm no good at setups, man. I, I like, started... Yeah, look at that. 95, 97 already after that little run. Like, that feels like a lot of tire wear. I didn't do that many laps. But, um, like, I started doing, like, things, and they would be, like, too low. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, um, I just went back to default, added 1% on the tape, and now I'm a master setup maker, so... Uh, come to me to my setup shop, $100 a setup, I will add 1% to your tape, and you will be blazing fast. I guarantee you, every one of you, 100 I rating, you'll win every race. So, we are uh, ready to grid. 
Hmm. 3.0k strength of field. Pretty good. It's Monday night. Everyone's still here. Uh, we might finish very poorly, though. I, I guess that, that's not as bad as it could be. Let's get out there. I'm going to be doing the low line, assuming that's where I need to go to save the tires. Is that normally there? That's not normally there, is it? Why does it look like that? Am I losing my mind? I don't think that's normally there like that. Okay, all my settings are looking good. I moved the brake bias down. That's the premium setup if uh, you buy from my setup shop. You got the basic package, $100. I add 1% to the tape. And then the premium package, that's 200 You get a little bit lowered uh, brake bias. I mean, I shouldn't be spilling my secrets, I guess, so sorry, but sorry to me. I'm losing out of money by spilling my secrets, but. In pit lane, it says. That is definitely not normally there. Okay, I was kind of worried it wouldn't be gone. I'm going to take the access road like a dweeb. <laughs> I'm the one loser down here on the access road. Uh, okay. Sorry guys, my first Xfinity race. Looking like a second gear start. Alright, got the uh, fuel calculator ready. Everything seems good to go, except for maybe the setup. <laughs> we'll see. Imagine we'll be learning some things. About to go green. Stay focused. Hopefully it's a good race though. I'm hoping. Alright, can't see. Okay, All right, can't see. That's cool. That'll work. We can actually really loose on the cold tires, so I am going to be quite careful here. Okay. That was scary because I looked away for one moment and then looked back and there was a guy spinning. Bag you? Oh my gosh. Uh, got a little closer to that 14 than I expected. Didn't expect to have a ROM on him. Thank you. Okay, it seems like we're pretty. I guess we're up to pace with everybody else around us. Okay, well, I got a caution. Yeah, the sun's pretty intense. We got a Florida sun in our eyes. It looks like I turned the HDR off. Well, I'm out of that one now. I got hit by that guy. Uh, it's good to Hi. Hi, Roger. Sucks. Getting taken out this early. over there in the nine camp. Who spun out? Someone spun out really early. Guess I'll save fuel. There's no way on this planet we're gonna save enough to make it to the end. 30 laps short like that. Ha! Very funny. Yeah, it's not calculating yet. Properly yet. My crew chief's just being defiant. Come on, Forrest, get up here. Chop, chop. I don't know why he's in such a hurry. Is he going to pit? <laughs> like, we've got... We just did, like, 1.5 laps. Did we even do that? I don't think we did that. I don't know why he's in such a hurry, but... Gotta go fast. We're racing here. Pit road is closed. Yeah, like what that guy's saying, like, are, are you in a real hurry? 
<laughs> to Racy Dalton Gall. Yeah. How naive. Jordan, my man, you make it? Sounds like there was a couple of guys in that crash. Like, it's sounding like they're asking, like, you know, how many people were in it. So maybe a couple guys taken out. Jordan has technical difficulties. Come to get with it. 14, car. I'm gonna save fuel just because I can. Get What's going on? on? Doesn't hurt. No idea. Get done in this work. Well, he's always with this court. Guess these guys all know each other and then they're uh, Discord together, telling each other when they're gonna jump on the starts oh, and such. Oh, you don't have a mic, dude? He does, but you guys, you guys don't need to be hearing his voice. It it hurts. All right, one to green, starting on the outside this time. I, don't, I honestly don't even remember where I started. I think I was on the inside in seventh. Wait, where's the juice cone? Realistic, my ass. Yeah, I hope we get the juice cone one day. That'd be great. People say that they don't think guy racers could handle it, but like, they can't handle anything else, and we still race anyway. So, no, but <laughs> I do think they could handle it. It's like they already do pace laps. Is it really that hard? Like. Even, even if it's like not necessarily a painted thing on the ground, like have a That's pillar of light like shooting up or something if you really want people to see it better. Have like a little warning saying like, coming out to the choose cone. Don't run it over, or you'll get a black flag. Like, can't you hear the Australian guy saying that? I don't think it would be such a bad thing. I hope we get it one day. We got uh, restart zones on their way in, so. I think it's possible. It's a little unsettled on gas, actually. I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful. Solid jump. I'll take it. I'm gonna go a little higher just so it's more stable, hopefully. Stay high, just the car on the low side. Work. Thanks, bro. The car inside. That guy has places to be, I guess. Clear inside. Outside. Cheap load. Cheap load. P6. It's just a 34.7. Good luck. That's your quickest today. Quickest today, Wowzers. That guy's not giving much room. Not going up to the, the wall, really. I'm not even trying to pass. I'm trying to be gentle right now. I guess we're okay on pace. It feels like we're so slow, but everyone's kind of the same pace. This guy's just gonna stay on my outside the rest of the race, I guess. It's both me, I don't feel like I'm wasting tires down here, so I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. Clear high. Car outside. Oh my god, please. Get him that setup up. I just feel like I'm barely driving. It's so strange. Like normally I'm I guess I'm used to Arca, where like you're hard on the wheel, like fighting that oversteer on exit and it's super loose. Like I guess I'm used to that. And here we're kinda just going real slow. It feels like I'm driving the grandpa mobile or something. And finally that guy gets ahead of us. I did not, I was going like 30% that whole time. So I don't feel like I wasted tires or anything. Maybe he did. 
Hopefully, we'll pass him later. If he's like, if he hurt his tires doing that, but I was just baiting Sorry, it. I got, I got cut off and slowed me down. I definitely expected this to be more, uh, more like the Arca car in terms of like the Sorry, looseness yeah. and stuff. So, still doesn't feel great, and I don't know how this thing's gonna be on long run. It looks like they're pulling away right now. Chief talking about the water temperature, he's usually super sensitive about all that. Um, I'll bring it up though. Take a look at it. I'm sure it's fine. I paid for the uh, standard setup shop that I own. $100 package. Added the 1% tape, but it should be good. Hopefully we won't get run over from behind. That guy looks like he might want pass. I don't blame him. I feel pretty slow right now. I just hope he knows how to make a pass. So I am just trying to be gentle right now. Feels so dead, to be honest. Car feels like it's doing nothing. I'm pulling away. The car outside. Go around our outside. That's cool. Oh, maybe not. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Did not get an exit on me there. This car's driving so strangely. And I guess it's not just me. Seems like everybody's kind of doing the same thing. Maybe it's not the setup. Well, he'll get around us. It's fine. So much off throttle time. See, he's getting it pitched on exit. I can't even do that with the setup. That's what I want. I want to get the car yawed out. V6. And it's not happening. Temperatures look just fine. Like, there's so much off-throttle time, I could probably even put it up 2%, but let's not get crazy now. This is not driving at all like how I expected. Man, they sure are driving away, though. The answer, Cowden, ahead is increasing. It's now 1.2. Four goes up to the high side. No idea if that's what I want to do or not. Probably not. The tires are already just ripping themselves apart, even though it feels like I'm babying it around here. I just, I have to imagine the high side's always going to be worse, right? It's, it's very rare that the high side's better for tires. Alright, we're getting caught. This is so weird. Sixth place. I, I overdrove, quote unquote. Turns inside. one and two there. Still inside. Still there, hold your line. You do not want to fight this guy. Still there, hold your line. Clear. He's getting loose on exit. Man, I want some of that. 
I want to get loose on exit. I want to drive this thing. This feels so boring to drive. And I'm, I'm overdriving turn one again. Going two miles an hour. <laughs> I want to have fun. Let me do the high line a little bit. You can see it's going to be faster. And it still feels like nothing's happening with the car. Like, I'm not doing anything. So, you would think the tires would be fine. But the tires are terrible on the bottom, too. So, is it worse up here? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Even up here, it still feels... just lifeless. It's so strange. It's not like what I'm used to feeling from this car or this track. But I guess when you put them together, this is just what it's like. I don't even know if it's just the setup. We'll do the bottom again, compare it with a little session last lap. Get the run off there. That's a whole tent slower doing that. Hmm. I mean, the, the race is green so far. It's been a good race. Side. I guess we'll just come in halfway. I don't see any reason to do anything other than that. Bumps, then get on the throttle. It's not turning. It's not doing anything. This car's driving like a goldfish upside down in its tank. Some tips there from the fast guys. Keep that in mind. Well, I gotta be honest, I'm pretty disappointed. Because I thought this was gonna be a great combo. Just not driving how I expected. Oh, the water temps are actually getting kind of high. Interesting. I saw it get kind of orange down there. I might have to keep an eye on that. It's because I'm in the throttle line because I'm on the high line. Should be okay when it's in that like yellowish, reddish, reddish yellow zone. I think they call that orange. Um, <laughs> should be fine if it's still there. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Is trying to pass me. Clear inside. Car inside. You feel the tires going away. Still there inside. Clear inside. Very close to me, and it's making me nervous. 
Slide job! Car outside. It's getting annoying. Because I'm bored. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Stay low. There is a car on the high never going to work. Car's not turning anymore. Still there. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. This is... This is awful. I'm going to be honest. This is driving so awful. What is happening? And it scares me that it's not, it yeah, doesn't even not. seem to just be the setup, because everybody else is pretty it's similar pace. Is hitting me. That's Clear cool, inside. thank you. <sighs> that was the world's weakest 4X, too. I don't even know why it's a 4X. But I'm going to need this guy to not do that again. Still there at the bottom. Still there inside. Clear. How is that a 4X? Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear. I feel like mothers have gently caressed their newborn baby harder than that. The 18 passed me. That was a 35.2. Then I overdrove. Is this race over yet? You've just done a 55.4. Temperature's getting kind of concerning. I saw it 260 there for a second. I can always just run the low line if it starts getting too bad. I guess 1% is too much. Although I think the setup's probably made to run the low line. And I'm just stubborn and like running the high line. So there's that. The captain, Fernandez, ahead is increasing. <laughs> Shoot, I'm sorry, this isn't more entertaining. Maybe we can kind of get this seam up here, maybe that'll help it turn. Make me a little bit faster. I didn't there, I missed it, but I'll try to aim for it. The lock time was 35.2. Air must got near the wall. Look how far away the leaders got. They're seven seconds up ahead to fifth. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm supposed to be doing or anything. That lap was at 35.3. It's not turning all too well anymore. Are we reeling back in that 18? I can't tell. It's 0 0.9, 0 0.8. I think he might have just had a bad corner. He got tight on exit, maybe. I'm just going to keep running this high line. It's, I guess, faster. It. I'm still jealous. The car doesn't even necessarily feel tight. It just doesn't turn. It's really hard to describe. Like, obviously that's what tight feels like. It doesn't turn. But, like, it doesn't feel like it's pushing. It just feels like it's doing nothing. 
It's so strange. It's like my hands are numb. I, and it's not like my force feedback's too low or anything, I don't think, because like I can feel the bumps on the track. I don't know, man. gonna make sure that we uh I mean fuel windows kind of late it's like so come in too early I guess and the cut down line was actually pretty good hold on a second so if I enter higher slow it down and then cut down Wow, that 18 is really struggling. I'll catch back up to him. How did he do that last lap? I did that cut down. I have no idea. It's not turning anymore. I was, I was honestly, I was spacing out because this is just completely unengaging racing, and I did a cut down line, and it was like a tenth faster, and now I don't know how I did it. Well. Stay on the gas for, or the brakes for a long time, maybe? It was better than last lap, I think. Eh, pretty close by the time I get to the end of this straightaway. Put it in the wall. That's pretty good compared to last lap. Look at that! That was like a two tenths better than last lap. Maybe I just don't know how to drive this thing. I don't know. Midline? Oh, hold on a second. The middle lane. Is this like a rare instance where the middle lane actually works really well? This is so strange to drive. I know I sound like a broken record, but okay, no, that was that was bad. So now I'm a tenth slower this lap. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep trying new things. Slider line. The line that always works in paved racing. Okay, it kinda did. Drive it in harder? <laughs> what is this? So I don't get the run off. Okay, yeah, that was worse than last lap. That last lap was at 35.5. I feel like I'm driving like a, a lunatic. Almost coming up on our pit stops, though. Halfway finished with this. Snooze fest. I guess I would prefer that to a wreck fest, if it's going to be some sort of festival. The team might have gotten to the wall or something, right?
me, I'm gonna be crazy and undercut. So that's gonna matter. Midline speed limit is 50 miles per hour. All right, right can we go. Fuel you to the end of the race. Pit box team, 10. I have no idea what these tires are gonna say. Five, I have no. I feel like I've gotten no feedback three, two, from the one, car. Right it's gonna be bad based on some of the other information I've seen. Fifty-one eighty-three. What is happening with this car? It did not feel like fifty-one eighty-three. It felt like I was fast asleep. All clear. Contest. Are you ready for another 50% of this race? We're having so much fun. Outside. Clear outside if you want it. Outside. Clear outside if you want it. Dirt corner. I'm just gonna run the highest side this time. I just I'm desperate to actually enjoy this race. Maybe I can yaw it out. Up here. Come on, car, spin out on me, I dare you. Oh, no, not you! No! Oh my god, am I the lucky dog? I think I might have just passed the 11 on pit road and became a lucky dog. Please, 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 please. Oh, I might be the lucky dog. Oh, I'm the lucky dog. <laughs> Whoever just wrecked, thank you. Oh. Don't say anything about his voice. I'm a nice eye racer who respects people of all ages. Face car, middle back. Oh, I just came out on these tires. Yeah, we still gotta go uh, all the way around there. But I'm the lucky dog, so I have to go to the back of the field anyway, so... I don't think I'm gonna be needing to save another set of tires. Uh, maybe I will. Because these have not been used at all, so that would be kind of dumb, I think, to just take tires. Wouldn't it? You got loads of fuel. Load. Leaders pitting now. Okay, these guys are pitting so I can roll ahead. We do have the free pass. You may pass the caution All right, I haven't taken the lucky dog yet. Do we? Let me not burn my tires off. Under caution either. There's really no need for that. I'll just go real slow because I honestly can't tell when I'm burning the tires off. Up one, I'm working on it. I'm catching them. Take it easy. Wow, I want to see that on the replay. That must have been like uh, a It's open. Yeah, You put it at the rear anyway. Ready to go. Okay, I guess. Catch the five. But I got a lot of playing to this run. Yeah, it was pretty tight. Were you tight as well? Yeah, I couldn't rotate center at all. I mean, obviously good enough, but not where I want to be. See how this goes. Yeah, I've never really run the D car a whole lot, and I don't know. I'm just gonna spend the rest of the year trying to figure it out. It's because you're the lucky dog. Kind of interesting. Let not 18. 
Yeah, I was not expecting this man to be this tight. Does anyone know if the fix is any better, or is it just, like, I don't know, deals? It's probably tighter, but I mean, I feel like a lot of people just have a tighter car here just because of the long run. You don't want to kill the right rear. Because if you free up the center too much, you're screwed. I want to kill the right rear. <laughs> I'd much rather that than this. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Except I was running, like, to my right front was wearing out on a lap. 3540, and I was running like 356s on a good, good lap. So yeah, I need a little loosey goosey on it. So we'll save a set of tires just because I just came out on these. I was at 70, 71. Guys hitting. Wow. I suck. I was 45.86 front to rear. 45.86? So at least I'm not the only one. Yeah, I don't know, like on a scale of like 1 to 10 tight, I don't know, it's probably like 3. But like I said, you don't want to freed up too much, because long run exit, you're going to be dead. But you can't drive into the corner at 100 mile an hour either and then just lock it up the last second. Yeah, this, pl this place is tricky. I just noticed that earlier. I got to the back and people were just flying into the corner and then getting there at the last second. That one's got some damage on the back, it looks like. Yeah, it's all fuel. Got a couple of guys we were ahead of, so we might be able to get around those guys, but we'll see. About to go green. Stay focused. I cannot see at all. I have to watch P2. I I'll be honest, I didn't even know that guy was on my outside. To the top side. What you do there? What's the ship? Searching for fun. No, I started in third. Alright, yeah. Oh my I god, I'm searching for grip. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. That's my favorite. I love getting cut off. Clear inside. V8. Car inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. Clear. Inside. You're up top three wide. Right side, two wide, clear. I'm just gonna try to yaw it out on exit. I can I can feel it just barely Ooh, that's that guy going? Uh I can feel it just barely getting on the right rear when I'm exiting the corner from the high side and it's like feeling something for the first time <laughs> in a year. Car inside. Clear inside. The early is the case. Inside. Still there. Hold Horrible the corner. Clear. P6. This is probably bad for the car, this is probably not what you want to do, but I was miserable, so I'm going to do this, because it's more fun. And that's why I'm here in the first place. Cowden is leading the race. Okay, 
hit the brakes much harder than I expected there. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Clear. I assume this guy's not actually trying to pass and he's just taking the low line and it's bringing him there. But we're gonna find out if he slide jobs us in a couple laps. Car inside. Keep high. Stay high. Clear inside. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. Outside. Go low. Was that 34.0? Clear. Inside. Still inside. Stay high the At least we're doing something right now. Clear. Car inside. Clear inside. Okay, get real loose. I'm almost never bored in a race car. There's always something that can keep my attention. You know, I have a lot of <laughs> anxiety because I worry a lot about how I'm driving and how I'm driving around others, giving space. And I do still worry about that right now. But this is just so lifeless and I'm just falling asleep. Like obviously the high line was bad there. It made us lose traction. It's not even faster at this point, I don't think. But like I just want I just want to race my car. A few more guys pull over and quit, I'll be doing alright. I just apologize for this race, because this is just awful. <laughs> I don't want to complain too much, but I'm just so disappointed. That evened out by the end of the straightaway. Inside. Still inside. Still there. Clear inside. I guess I'm not even doing that bad, relatively. Inside. I mean, I know I'm the number three, but it is a 3,000 strength of field. I'm in the top 10. That's not terrible. I, just, I feel like I'm doing terrible because it, it feels awful to drive. It doesn't feel like I'm doing anything. Just, please car, get loose or something. Do anything. Pitch it in the corner. It's like I'm poking a dead body and saying, like, hey, do something. Seventh position. Still there at the bottom. Still 
still there, hold your line. Clear inside. So how you guys doing today? Great. You any racing? Inside. Cool. Stay high. Glad to hear it. Keep high. Can I even put this out? I guess. This, I, I guess I can put this race out. I mean, it's not like I'm not racing anybody. It's probably more entertaining to watch than to drive, honestly. Oh, uh, that's... That's probably not true. Inside. Oh, it doesn't turn anymore. That's fun. Clear. Hmm. Sun's going down. I wonder if it's going to be uh, nighttime by the time this uh, race ends. About 6:37 in game. I just have to wait so long to get on the throttle. I might not even get a top 10 by that time this one's over. Gap to Fernandez in front is now 0.8. Turning. One of the worst feeling cars I've ever experienced. I think I can say that. 70 laps in, I think I can say that confidently. From a car I love so much, and from a track that I love to visit. Just feels awful. Is it set up? I don't know. Does this combo just not work very good for some reason? I don't know. Setup's not great, I don't think. Certainly was seven seconds behind fifth place after the first run and actually tried to save tires that run. This run, I just don't care anymore. I just, I'm kind of just letting the car do what it wants to do at this point. in there like a madman. I just want this race to be over. I want, I want to try to stop complaining though. Uh, get this negativity out here. It's a new week on our racing. There's going to be plenty of other cool stuff to run. That was at 35.1. Arc is at Bristol. Which could be scary. But uh, I do want to do that. Maybe I'll get to do it tonight if uh, there's a big enough split. It's always a bit of a question. With me coming home from work late in the day. Looks like we're going to get caught and passed by the 8. Because of my... Gung-ho attitude toward the tires this run might be able to hold off for a top 10 still though with the 11 back in 11th it's 
feels like the car needs more horsepower or something. Let's get it loose. On throttle. It's not so tight. I'm gonna run the high side and try to hold this guy off and be just the most annoying person possible. Because I want to do something. Yes, I'm being very selfish. He's gonna get by me anyway. This car's dead. Stay high with the car on the low side. Clear inside. That last life was at 55.4. It's faster up here anyway. If you can get it to turn. That lap time was 35.2. It's the wall. Car inside. Stay high for the car on the low side. Still there at the bottom. Clear. There goes Jeff Gordon. Can't feel too bad about being beat by Jeff Gordon, right? Tight. He goes, he's got better tires. Is it over yet? I want to go home. Some wall up there. I almost got some wall up there. Extra set of tires did not matter. That was at Man, I feel just like Gavin did, I think. When he did last week's race at Las Vegas in the Xfinity car. Just feeling like I'm driving terrible, like the setup's terrible. Just not having a great time. Yes. Maybe I can get the eight to hit the wall. Another time or two and I can overtake him again. Leaders on our relative. We are killing it right now. Mercifully, there are nine laps to go. Tenth position. Not sure where he was, I was afraid I was gonna push up into him. Last thing I need to do is run into someone. I can't even say at least it was a like incident free race for me, because that mother touching the newborn baby gave me a full X. That sounds really weird out of context. That one was at 35.5. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Keep it up. 
Eleven is catching us, but I think we should probably be able to finish ahead of them. I, I can only laugh. I can just only laugh. Staying in it, I don't care if I get the wall. Cargo. I've just resorted to start doing whatever in the corners again. Five left to go. You've lost lap time, what's that? Thirty-five point eight. Uh, again, I apologize. If anyone's even still left watching this, I just apologize. <laughs> this is so bad. Maybe I can super speedway it. Just hold the bottom line. talking because they sleep. Like I got my brake bias back too. It's like 62%. Thought that was good. But it's not it doesn't even feel like it's like tight on entry. It's just kind of like tight middle, tight exit. And not even necessarily tight, it's just slow and boring. Two left to go. Two to go. <sighs> Car is not turning. Oh my god, kill me. End this, please. Stop my suffering. Two laps left. The cap two. Marrow in front is now 1.3. It's top 10 because I just don't care. The car behind is reeling you in. The gap is now 1.1 seconds. <sighs> it's tragic. White flag, one more lap. Thank you. This isn't a very good endorsement for my setup no shop, is it? Thank you. I guess I can't upload this video anymore to be proof that my setup shop is a scam. Thanks, Jeff. Well, my tires are out here. Damn, chip your butter. Would you like to pass me 11? No, I'm not going to do that. That might be insulting. Oh. <sighs> There we go, sorry about Bring it back. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Nice run, solid work. I'm just curious about something, so I'm gonna make sure the remaining time yeah, ends. Stop being so nice, people aren't nice back to me. <laughs> Letting people go by. Come on. Who's finished yet? I thought when everybody finished that ran out of time.
whatever. I want to see if wall riding is going to be faster. Because we are going so slow. Okay, I just, I have to know. Water temp's getting high though. I have to take some tape off this thing if I want to run the high line. Why am I out here any longer than I need to be? I'm sorry for being so negative for being here in the first place. I don't know, man. I think I've said everything I need to say about that. Um, we'll go real quick through the incidents. Gonna lose 45 I rating from that one. Here's the guy who got loose, whoever that was. Nine. I would rather be doing that and ending my race early than the rest of what I actually de dealt with. This overcracks and ends up in the wall and that's the quick caution we got. Oh no. And then the guy who got loose was in the wrong place because of it. That stinks. Kind of. At least I got to go home. Very colorful car. Just gonna brush the wall on entry. Very colorful car. Gonna brush the wall on entry, maybe a little bit. Uh, H just gonna run over that guy, I guess. Is he upset about something, or does he just? Way overdrive it. I don't know. Maybe there was a slide job earlier he didn't like. But he just runs it in the back of him. Like he's not there. Just some wall. Oh, there's this guy. He didn't even touch me, and that's a 4X. <laughs> Why? Where's he from? Brazil. I'm a 12X. How? I mean, I guess Brazil has something to do with it. That's a 4X right there. They need to get dangerous drivers like me off the racing track. They need to demote my license, because we can't be having that. I'm so disappointed by this combo, though. I think I would be less complaining less if this wasn't. I didn't have such high expectations to from a car and track I enjoy so much. But we are going to be moving right along. This guy got wrecked out at some point. Tires hitting 50% or whatever. What happened? The 18's like a mile off the wall. On the straightaway. Oh, he gets a loose and kills him. So that stinks for the 6. That's that 18. He was having real struggles on exit. So the six gets murdered and we get our caution. <sighs> Sorry. So 
Fontaine in the wall. It's just gonna run to the back of the eight. Eight's just—I don't know where the eighteen's trying to be right now. He drives in way harder, still manages to hit the right rear, then stays really low on the track instead of fading up. I don't know. That's weird. Team beat us, by the way. So, never mind. He's a good driver. He's better than me. No. Just thought something was going to happen there. There's me not caring anymore. That time I didn't do it on purpose. I wouldn't do that on purpose, like... So it's someone behind me. Just didn't stick at all. Eighteen's gonna continue running into people. I feel like nobody's watching anymore. I think the 16 thought he was going to go high there. So I got in the back of him. There's me way beyond not caring anymore. We're not going to see anything but wall hits for the rest of this time, so... I apologize for this race. I really do. That was just so bad. <laughs> I don't know if that's just the way it's going to be, too. Because, like, the other guys don't look like they were driving much different. They were faster. But, I mean, if I actually saved tires the second run and didn't just try to have a little bit of fun, I mean, we came into the pits, or we ended this caution 12th. Oh, so apparently I gained spots. I thought I lost spots. Oh, well, we started this run in 9th. I don't know. Let's say it's like the same spot I was in, so it, I don't think it mattered. Nothing mattered in this race. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> so, I'm sorry you had to watch that if you did. Uh, that was Be Open at Homestead this week, unfortunately. Maybe better setups make that better. Or maybe that's just how it is, I don't know. But we'll see what, uh, you know, some other guys experience if they do this combo. And, um, well, I guess I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.